Hello again. Let's take a look at a time frame for the future. Right now, there's going to be an energy mix, a battle between different kinds of, of energy sources that'll go on for 10 to 15 years. Right now, we're going to have an energy mix because no one white knight can save modern society from the needs of oil and coal. Let's face it. Pound for pound, oil and coal contain more energy in a convenient form than almost any other energy source. Now, I love solar, but I'm a physicist, and I know that solar is not quite ready for prime time yet. However, the cost of solar goes down every year. Solar is being mass produced. Solar is being given tax credits and jump starts by governments. So we see the cost of solar going down. I suspect that in about 10 years or so, no one knows precisely when, the rising cost of fossil fuels will intersect with the falling cost of renewable technology. And when these two curves cross, that'll be a sea change. At that point, it'll be economical, economical to go solar. However, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Now, beyond that time frame, when we're talking now about 2030, 2040, then fusion becomes an option at that point. Fusion is the power of the sun, the, pop, the possibility of using ordinary seawater to create unlimited amounts of energy due to thermonuclear reactions on the planet Earth. Now, some people are cynical about that. They say, hey, give me a break. We've been there. We've heard the claims every 20 years. They say that fusion is 20 years from now. 20 years come, and we're still no closer to fusion. There's a difference. This time, we physicists think that we have the technical problems licked. In California, we have the largest laser fusion facility at, Los Al at Livermore National Laboratories. And in France, in the year 2019, we expect to get the ITER fusion reactor operational. So it's, it's projected that by 2030, 2040, by mid-century, fusion becomes a viable option. And none too soon, because with the greenhouse effect, we begin to realize that the beginning of the century could be quite dangerous. We're going to be putting large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. However, by 10, 15 years, solar becomes just as competitive as fossil fuels in the marketplace. And beyond that, fusion kicks in. And fusion is clean.